Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld and of course to, well, it's, it's, it's not, uh, not really the town of anything yet and it won't be the town until everyone else is here. I mean over here we could say welcome to Stygian Sanctuary but it's not quite the same over here. Not, not yet at the very least. However, we do have a caravan heading out to an incapacitated refugee then they'll be heading back to Serenity and Gossamer's End is uh, just a, a dream at this point. A, a long gone dream. Uh, right, everything else seems to be going okay though. It's going to take a day or two for these guys to reach her because it is winter they are moving through the the um mountains there's a lot of things working against dark havoc and horror story there but atlas ruska and valerie have quite a lot of work to do around here so that should be fine uh now how's the temperature on the whole it's not actually not that great i'll be honest it's very cold outside mind you so it's Actually, rather impressive that there's any heat at all in this little area. So, yeah, you take the good with the bad, I guess. Uh, this place is particularly cold. Um, we It would be nice if we could uh, improve that, but there's not a lot that we can do just for the moment. All right, we want to continue working along here. In fact, we want to get the flooring done down there as well. How's uh, Janna and Rhapsody doing? Uh, doing all right, just chilling out, enjoying themselves. Got plenty of food over there, and uh, this place is going to belong to the insect before too long. Uh, that's just just the way that that one is going to pan out. Uh, how are we doing over here? Is this ready to launch? Not ready to launch. Launch group. Uh, pod group isn't complete. Steel is missing. Okay, go back. Carry on. Carry on filling it with steel. As and when you get the chance. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to increase your hauling priorities. We're going to swap them around. There we go. That should be... Uh, let's not make them absolutely the highest priority. Let's put them on twos instead. But that should see a couple of things loaded a little bit sooner rather than later. And that way we can get out of this place a bit sooner rather than later as well. Now, perhaps we should send over a couple of the huskies, actually, thinking about it. That might help out down here a little bit more. All right, how is this place? Uh, I mean, it's not... Uh, it is kind of terrible. Valerie's just going to keep going back and forth, trying to build that until she gets it right. Uh, well, at the very least, though, she's getting a lot of work done very quickly. Uh, though it would be good if the, if the wood could just be stored there. You know what? It's fine. You just keep on running back and forth. There we go. It eventually but Marvellous. There we are. And a little bit more work to do over there. Oh, it's great when someone gets work, Frenzy. Now, let's check my animals. They are still confined to Animal Area 1, but honestly, I don't mind that. I'll, at the moment, it's okay. But we do need to get some more food for you guys. Uh, right now, you're eating our, our meals, which is nah, not exactly the best thing for us, I'll be honest with you. Not exactly the best. Uh, how's everything else going down here? Uh, none too bad, I suppose. Uh, do we have anything else around that we could go and grab? Not at the moment, we don't know. Well, that's a bit of a problem then, isn't it? Uh, let's have a think. Now, in terms of power, I would not at all mind getting another wind turbine around here. Wherever I can get a third solar panel, we'll have another wind turbine between them. And I'm thinking another farm down here. Rather than having this be the landing zone that we initially considered making it, we'll actually remove that entirely. And, ooh, visitors are arrived at Serenity, but we've got no guest beds, so they're going to have to go away. I'm sorry, we're not, we're not tooled up yet to, to provide guest beds. I am deeply ashamed of this, but it is the way things are. Uh, Brittany has got carcinoma. That is unfortunate because Brittany is a raging alcoholic. Also unfortunate. Uh, not ready to launch. What are we missing? Hay is missing. You know what? I don't mind that one. So launch group. Yeah, Hay is missing. Uh, launch. Uh, wait a second. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a launch group? No, no. No. Okay, so only this one needs to launch. That's fine. Confirm and launch it, please. 
get that over here and we'll drop it uh, we'll drop it right there where it's not gonna hit anything and then I would like a new one built let's get that there and hopefully we can get someone working this new Rhapsody will you there we go fantastic right what has landed there we go some hay some food uh, some metal rather perfect our animals will now have something to eat which is very very good now then this is ready for us to turn on so let's enable it there we are and decide what we're growing here so corn and hay grass that's fine allow the sowing of these items it's warm enough in there at the moment so it's fine yeah, yeah. Uh, what we will also do then is set up well do we have the no we don't but I can use this to build copies which will save me a bit of time there we go and uh, let me just double check how far along is this it's 13 so there we go 13 or is it counting this is 13 no no it's it's all alright fair enough that's brilliant let's get this whole thing set up then and once again, we will have a door right in the middle there. So grab you, build copy. Womp. There we are. Now we'll want much the same setup in this one. And that should provide the immediate for our group. Really? Ruska and Valerie having a fight? What happened there? Uh, Ruska started a social fight with Valerie. Reason? Slighted. Valerie, did you need to be so mean? Insulted Ruska. This drove Ruska into a rage and they began to fight. Well, I think Ruska's going to come off the worst in this one, honestly. Uh, you're already pretty badly beaten. Uh, at least Valerie has the good graces to take you to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Valerie is definitely going to be the winner in that fight. Uh, ooh, we've got a raid. A group of tribespeople from the Triumph Army have arrived nearby. Really? And you've just incapacitated someone and badly wounded yourself? Valerie, this is bad. This is super bad. <laughs> The two best warriors are not here. Oh, no. All right. Well, perhaps Yoko and Chaos's offspring are going to be able to help out. No flick. Oh, no. This is rubbish. Ah, truly rubbish. Go ahead. Womp. And you will have to take cover. Sure about there. Now, let's have a quick gander. If we pause things here, they can be released. All right. Temporarily, they're going to be assigned to Valerie. Valerie, Dark Avoc returns to find that you let... Uh, uh, let Yoko's pups die. Oh, you're going to regret that. Uh, can, we, can we not get this active? Oh, no. No, and we've run out of power too. What's the times? Okay, we need to temporarily reinstall that there. Quickly, Atlas. Uh, actually, no, Valerie's going to be the fastest one doing it. Work on the battery and move quickly about this. Uh, can I get you? No, you you cannot walk. Valerie, this is the worst of timings. Absolutely the worst. Okay, Ruska is now capable, no? Valerie is no longer inspired. Well, that sucks, but okay. Um, that will run for a little bit on just the power that this is bringing in, especially because we're not actually using the um, plant right now, the, the grow light. So it's not going to be awful, but there we go. Let's get everyone to, everything turned on. Uh... Actually, that would probably be better off installed down there, wouldn't it? Atlas, could you work on that? This way it's not running the whole base. It'll only be running the weapon system. Reconnect. There we go. It's a temporary system, but it, it should help. Uh, where is Valerie right now? Oh, thank goodness Roscoe's back up and running. Uh, can you go and grab this? Uh, this is going to be rough. And you're all wounded, too. Uh, can you tend, Valerie? At least stop the, the bleeding. If there is any bleeding, actually. 
No, there's just bruises, but still tend to it so that we don't end up with an infection, please. There we go. And then you can tend to Ruska following that. How are you guys going? Probably a lot better than we're going to be going down, uh, going over here. Because my colonists are derps. Alright, let's uh, get all of these fully fueled. Yeah. We should be okay. Get a little bit more cooking done. Uh, could you tend to Ruska? Uh, Red Fox Revenge. Uh, that was very short-lived revenge. Also, an extremely fruitless one. Alright, how are you doing? Well, at least you're, you're recovering. Slowly, but you're recovering. Uh, okay. Well, there's not a lot we can do here. Uh, I could have you guys only in the home zone. And I'm going to say so, yeah. Stick to the home zone for now. You can go out there and grab some food if you've already woken up and were heading out there anyway. Uh, let's make sure all of this is actually set to be hauled as a high priority, though. In fact, Valerie might be able to take care of that for us. Right now, the only thing going for us is... That, oh, no, I was about to say, the only thing going for us is the fact that they haven't uh, begun the attack. But, no, they have. Right, Ruska, I'm going to want you probably down here. Atlas, down with Ruska, actually, and then Valerie over there. Uh, let's assign the Wargs. I would like you to follow when there is war, uh, but for now, no, you're going to have to just go with Valerie. There we are. Okay, this is going to be a bit nasty. Um, and the, the main thing that is going to work for us, ooh, actually, get over there. Atlas, go and open that door. Go stand behind Atlas, please. Open fire while they're trying to approach. That's right, well done. Next up, go for the sniper, please. Same with my auto turret. Nope. Nope, nope. I would like you to... Can I not tell you to fire? Dread. I cannot. Well done. Right. Ruska, I need you to move forward again. And I would like Atlas to go for the attacker down there. Right, release the wargs. Let them pick their own targets. They've already been wounded. Colonist needs rescue. Oh, really? Ruska's already down. Oh. Damn it, Valerie. That is because of you. All right, go for the combat shotgun, please, because that is going to hurt a lot. An awful lot. Hitumi is already down. Come on, turrets. I Honestly, I can't tell who's doing the most damage to the wilds right now. I think it actually may be our own turrets, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Alright, go for them. Keep it up, Atlas. Well done, Atlas. Uh, at this point, rescue. We haven't got time for anything else. Rescue the wargs. Allow our automated turret to do whatever it can, but rescue the wargs. Oh, that was nasty. Okay, they're bailing. The fact that we managed that at all, I'm uh, reasonably happy with. If only we had something down there, because they are going to break, break through that eventually. All right, get out there. Rescue Alberto, please. And quickly at that. And then Atlas is going to have to start uh, tending to everyone. All right, I would like everything gathered. Uh, unforbid everything. All right, could you please tend to Ruska? Does Ruska need tending to? Yeah. Definitely does. Uh, what are you currently trying to do? Uh, you're currently moving. Well, let's make sure that you... Nope, wrong thing. Uh, can you please tend to us go straight away? You are going to break through that door probably before I can get there. And it is a shame. You told me how you're doing. Lots of gunshot wounds. But you're not going to die from it. Can I have you treat... Yes. Alberto's got more time. Let's focus on the treatments right now. Everything else will come next. Uh, we've got some decent meds. You're actually bringing all three of them. Can you work on Alberto? I would normally send you out to take care of... 
No longer incapable of walking? Really? Very well. Don't grab the uh, pump shotgun. Uh, Doc has got up. Doc woke up and he's trying to bail. Very well. Rusko, I'm sorry about this, but you're going to need to move quickly here. Uh, low medicine. We will send him over shortly. Right, grab that. Now I want you to be over here and to eliminate uh, Icarus. Okay. Looks like we might have just about managed this. Just. Please finish them off before they break through the door, which they're about to finish doing. Can you not? Attack off, oh, really? Okay, getting closer. Fire, now. Pow, pow, pow. And again. Try it. Can you possibly chase them down? I don't think you're going to be able to at this point. Uh, okay. Well, that's fine. All right. Return. Get that in as soon as you can. Ah, oh, what quality is that? It's a normal one. Yeah, I'm sure we'll take it. Take these as well, since they're normal. Uh, you. Oh, are you better than the, the person we've currently got? Let's have a quick look. You're a neurotic jogger. Hmm. You're not incapable of anything. Let's have a look at you. Uh, no, I think you're, you're pretty much similar. I mean, I could set up a little little room in there, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to. Uh, right, Atlas, could you please tend to Valerie? And then following that, hopefully Valerie can tend to you. We've got a lot of stuff that we need to sort out right now. Oh my lord, so much stuff we need to sort out. Um, in the meanwhile, though, let's... We've got plenty of steel. In fact, we've got more steel than we've got of anything else. I'm going to set up some storage bins. Now, these are going to be there to ensure that even if I fill this up with corpses, it's never going to be a case that I can't store some um, vegetables and some meat. There we go. Oh, there's blood everywhere. This is rubbish. How are you doing, Valerie? Uh, you are going to come and consume a simple meal. Following that, I would like you to tend to yourself, actually, if you could. Uh, if nothing else, because you're kind of just bleeding everywhere. And that's not a great thing for us. Not great at all. There we are. Let's just finish off these arms. I could make a little door in here so that people can access food quicker. Maybe. We might do that. It depends. You can go and rest. Yes, you are. So, Valerie, what I would like you to do next, then... Uh, could you shut that down? First, flick that switch. Next, go and take care of Atlas, please. There we are. And then finally, could we please reinstall this back over there? My lord, that was that was difficult. That was difficult. And we researched Hypersol. Grow things unnaturally fast by using this vastly improved mycelium network, which drills into a xylem of the plants to release nutrients and enzymes into the host. Very, very good. And then ultimately we can go for ultrasol, if we truly want to. But for now, we're going to actually uh, age drugs. What? Research ways to accelerate the growth of your animals. Oh. Hmm. Age pills. Kind of interesting, sure. We'll have a look at that, and then I would like to work our way through the various autopsies, and then finally, Ultrasoil. We are very close to having researched more or less everything. Very close indeed. Back on then. Now, uh, could we cremate the corpses as well? That would probably be useful. Uh, okay, let's go and have a look at how things are going down here. Rearming the traps. That's cool. That's very cool, actually. Could I get some of these I Well, actually, I'm just going to let you hold those as and when you feel like it instead. Uh, where's Flurgles? Flurgles is currently wandering. One idle colonist. Could you work at the chemical refinery then? Why are you not doing that automatically? I really have no idea. But you should have been doing it. You definitely shouldn't have been idle. Okay, well, one raid down. We've got a couple of days to, to get over there. Well, 1.2 days in total. Well, hopefully we can get some more things cleaned up around here. 
uh, would be grand. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm afraid you're just going to die. Minor break risk. Yes, yes. Uh, we'll get through that, though. Uh, hopefully, this place actually has... Yeah, the roof is already built. There. That's good. Eventually, we'll get... Could we actually build that now? Let's have a look, shall we? We don't have enough steel or components for these. Which is a shame. But we may be able to shoot those over from over here. Uh, Alright, let's set up two of these. I would like these to be loaded. Let's grab all of those, make sure we've got them all. Load the group. We are going to want, at this point, I'm going to say we're going to want to send over some of the Huskies. Hmm. I'll load those last, though. I'll load them into one of the other um, drop pods last. First, I would like to send over all of the components. I'd like to send over, let's say, 300 hay. Well, actually, no, let's send over two full bales. So 400 hay. We'll send over, we'll need some more medicines, I would say. So another 10 meds. Uh, some more noxicillin. And with that done, let's have a look. Is there anything else I'd like to send over? Yes, I'd like to send over the military. Ah, oh, of course, the military turrets are exceptionally heavy. Um, really? Ah, yes, I can send one, but I can't send, then send the other. That, that's fine. I could send this one, though. And I'd be all right with that. Starting to move over some of our components makes a bit of sense to me. Uh, finally, then, I'll, we could top it up with steel. Sure. Okay, accept that. That'll be those two. Eventually, we'll also get this one loaded up with uh, various odds and sods. Um, that being said, we could get this one to load up with just steel if we particularly wanted to, and that is not uh, necessarily a bad thing. Or we could load this one completely with plastic steel. That's also completely acceptable. And then finally, the last one will be this, which we will load with possibly a colonist and two huskies. Uh, we'll see how that one goes, though. Uh, hopefully. Could you perhaps clean up some of the blood? There we go. Let's let's get these rooms a little bit tidier. And down here as well. In fact, let's let's get all of it cleaned up if we if we're able. Um please down here, don't allow our huskies to get any kind of infection. That would be really bad. Oh well done, you're picking the right norms. Dark Avak would be proud of you. Uh but no, no don't don't ah oh, no, they're sticking they're sticking guns on them. That's not what I want these for, you see. Uh, I want them to be critically important, and I would like raw food. Um, one of them should be veg uh, vegetarian only. Copy the settings over to this one. Paste. This one, however, should be for meat only. Any type of meat is fine. And then finally, paste the settings in. This one should be for... Well, we could put any kind of animal products in there. Sure, or I could just say any raw food is okay. I think we'll go with any raw food is okay. That way, these should all be uh, set up correctly. Now, f the final thing I'd like to do is I would quite like to get a door set up there. Just so it's nice and easy to get into the freezer and access whatever um, items you might want. Uh, we are... Ooh... The caravan uh, demand by the armadillo men. Your caravan has been ambushed by a group of four pirates from the armadillo men. They will attack unless you give them seven simple meals, a plasteel gladius, a pigskin fur coat, and a muffalo wool fur hat. They, I feel that they perhaps didn't quite get a good look at the people they were about to ambush. At this point, Dark Avok, more, more out of, it's not even even out of a courtesy or mercy. It's just out of. Boredom with having to fight normal people all the time. There's a point where even Dark Almac's bloodlust gets gets oversatiated, and so he walks around. It's kind of like the whole whole you make a loud noise and bang your hands all the time just to 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 let bears know that you're nearby, so they just don't bother you. 
at this point, it's kind of the, he's probably got noisemakers built into his cybernetics so that anyone knows that he's he's moving nearby. Just so that it's like, don't even bother. This is just gonna, it's gonna be an inconvenience for me, and it's gonna be the end of your life. Why would you? But yeah, some people they 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 just they've got nothing better to do than to kill themselves, I guess. So fine, refuse and fight. Oh my lord, you're armed with a, the best weapon you've got is a pistol. I'm I'm embarrassed for you, frankly. Embarrassed. Uh, let's get everyone together. Uh, donk. Let's get you down here. Uh, honestly, horror story, you move pretty fast. Dark Abbott, just pull down there. Horror story, you can go about here, that'll do. In fact, if you can make your way over there, that'll be great. Uh, move into position. Start taking fire. Um, Dark Arvid, you can move up. Uh, yeah, Yoko's due to uh, take part. You know what? Release the bogs. Just go for it. Horror Story, could you prioritize shooting Kenna? I don't need you firing on the others. I mean, you can if you'd like to uh, at this point. Dark Arvid, just go around there and kill them. There we go. That's a bit better. And victory! And one day the caravan will automatically be formed. That's a bit. Of, that's enough time, I think, for us to. Okay, Horoso, you don't need to be shooting anymore. Uh, Dark Ava, could you mellow Henry? Right, Chaos, how badly wounded were you? Ah, just, just a couple of cracks. You know, they tried to knife Chaos. They, they, suddenly, the, the 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 reality of the situation they 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 thrown themselves into. They'd plummeted into this pit of their own design, and just wildly slashing for the best of their ability. But it's very hard to cut something that's made of metal.